Hello, friends, and welcome to Little Bean's Garden, located in Pomona, California, Zone 10A, established in 2015. My name is Sule, and I will be your host for today. Hello, this is Sule from Pomona, California, Zone 10A. Today is November 16, 2021. And today I am super excited because I have never grown this variety before and I have always, always had it on my wish list to grow. This is the Purple Majesty Potato. So I just got my potatoes and I will be planting these um, in this five gallon bucket. Before I plant my potatoes, let's talk about the five gallon bucket. And a little disclaimer, this is not a how-to video. This is how I do it. If you wanna give it a try the way I grow it, go ahead by all means. And if not, then if you're doing something else that is working for you, leave it in the comments down below. I love to learn from everybody. And just because I do it this way doesn't mean it's right. There is thousands of ways that you can plant your potatoes. Now, let's talk about the bucket it's a five gallon Lowe's bucket and let me bring it up for you now I have filled it up with soil but I haven't filled it up completely I normally fill it up about up to where the L starts that's how much soil it has so I'm just about where the L starts for this Lowe's five gallon bucket now before I start planting my potatoes in the bucket, I do add a little bit of nutrient and that nutrient or nutrients is going to be worm castings and bone meal. For the worm castings, this is what I'm using. Hopefully you can see that. I believe I got this at Lowe's. Okay, and I just grab a small because I don't want to add a lot, a small handful of those worm castings. For my bone meal, this is what I am using. I think I got this at a local nursery. And with the bone meal, I will be very, very generous. Hopefully you can see through all that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> all right so what i'm gonna do next is i am going to mix it in making sure that it's well incorporated into the soil in case you are wondering i am using bagged up potting soil okay so when i plant my potatoes because they need a good fluffy loose soil um i like to get this brand it's the kellogg's let me see if you can see that kellogg's raised bed and potting mix it is a two cubic feet bag and that's what i use when i am going to plant my potatoes in my containers or the five gallon bucket for my potatoes i don't know why i'm weird but i don't like to use already spent soil um, if i have to use it then i will add the amendments that i showed you plus compost that's it but most of the time for my potatoes i like to use fresh bagged up potting soil all right i haven't opened up this bag yet so let's open it up together and there they are let's get out okay they're looking absolutely beautiful and there's they already have some eyes on them I have planted potatoes with no eyes, so I never really worry about the eyes, but these already have some. And I am going to be doing two per bucket. I have about 
four buckets that I will be doing today, but I'm showing you one. So these are the two that I will be planting in this bucket. Okay, so here is one and here is two. Hopefully you can see that. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to fill up the bucket with more potting soil. That bag is potting soil. Alright guys, so I have filled up the 5 gallon Lowe's bucket with that bagged potting soil and now what I add to the top is the same thing I added in the planting hole. So I'm going to grab my worm castings and I'm going to grab a very small handful. There we go. I don't know if it wants to focus, but there we go. Okay, so this is the worm castings and I'm just going to add a little bit and here's the bone meal and again, I am going to be very generous. to mix it up to make sure that it is well incorporated with the potting soil then every time you plant something you think you're gonna remember but you don't believe you me I have done that mistake more than I would like to admit so the last thing you want to do before you water it is it doesn't want to focus today there we go it's focused now so the last thing you want to do before you water it is put your plant label so that way you don't forget what you planted in that bucket and here we are and i'm gonna put it deep enough so mr bruce doesn't see it or well, i'm hoping he doesn't and then let me just grab the hose and we will water it in and you want to make sure you give it a nice watering because you want the soil to settle and you also want those nutrients to mix completely well into the soil today is january 24th 2022 and this is our purple majesty potato it definitely grew faster than i thought it would <laughs> and that's why the plant looks a little bit big but it's looking absolutely beautiful today is february 14 happy valentine's day you guys and i thought to give you an update on our purple majesty potatoes and the plant is doing pretty good it is under a a couple of trees are giving it some shade but it's still doing really really good looking nice and healthy today so. is march 17 2022 and today we will be digging up the potatoes for the purple majesty i think that's what it is there we go yes the purple majesty the plant is dried up so it is absolutely time to dig these up and see what we what we get right all right guys so here is our purple majesty potato bucket and let me show you so you can see that i'm not lying and here it is the purple majesty and let's go ahead Let's go ahead and dump this bucket out and see what we get. All right, so here it is. Let's see what we got. First, I'm going to be removing the plants. 
Then have the right arm. Woo! Okay. I already see potatoes there. Let me see. Are you able to see that? Check those beauties out. They're super dark. <laughs> They're like the color of the soil, but wow. They are so pretty to me. All right. All right, let me start digging for more. We can get. Isn't that pretty? It's so shiny. They're so shiny purple. I hope you can see that and capture that on video. All right, guys, I'm done digging up the potatoes and this is what we ended up with. Let me give them a nice clean and I'll show you a little bit closer. Okay, so I have my little um, curing rack. Well, that's what I call it, but it was a, a chicken coop um, wall. <laughs> so, but I call it my little curing rack. This is where I put my potatoes or anything that I need to cure like potatoes or onions. Okay, so I have my potatoes semi-washed as best as I could. And let's put them up on this little curing rack. And I know, I know for sure that, I know for sure that the beautiful purple shiny color of these potatoes is not coming through on screen because it's just not. But, all right, let's count them together. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven eleven potatoes out of that five gallon bucket I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, this is absolutely a normal harvest for that type of bucket because it wasn't a big space for the plant to grow and grow more potatoes. So for me, this is a win. I absolutely love the way they look. I mean, they're just so purple and shiny. I just don't know how else to describe it. They're absolutely beautiful. I will leave them here about five to 10. Uh, days for them to cure um, that way I can take them in the house and store them and I don't know guys but this is definitely the first time I ever have grown the purple majesty and let me tell you it will not be the last I have fallen in love with this potato and I can't wait to get my tiny little teeth into them and taste them but I bet a hundred percent they'll be absolutely delicious well, thank you so much for coming along on this Purple Majesty potato journey. And well, guys, that's it from Little Beans Garden. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your friends. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.